Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So today <clears throat> is cannabis and spirituality, and I just wanted to do a follow-up on cannabis and uh, reincarnation. And uh, it was just a comment that I read recently, and it's from a, a video that I did about Madam C.J. Walker. And there's a comment that I wanted to read and how it relates to uh, reincarnation here. It's kind of funny to me, but I mean, on a serious note, I do believe in reincarnation. Um, and I'll get more into talking about that in just a moment. Um, I've been smoking on a joint that I wrapped <clears throat> with a lavender kush strain, and I'll show you lavender kush. This is lavender kush, so yeah. So yeah, I've been smoking on this since the other video that I made about um, cannabis and attention span. So you might want to check that video out too. It's a two-part video, so you might like it. Alrighty, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Cheers. Holy moly, that's great. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my notes here. <clears throat> so this is what this uh, viewer wrote as a comment on the video that I did about Madam C.J. Walker. It says, you've probably touched on the subject of reincarnation in another video. However, a thought came that you could be a reincarnation of Madam Walker, this Madam Walker. That should be a nice balance of being on two opposite sides one of the artificial side and going after material outer wealth and the other residing in that inner state of love and peace looking for the wealth inside <laughs> you know that's a funny thought um i know i don't feel like i'm madam cj walker reincarnated but that's that's funny <laughs> but but just on the topic of reincarnation i do believe the purpose of reincarnation is to come to this planet or whatever okay let's go even further than that and my beliefs i don't know what you believe but i feel like we don't just incarnate on this planet we incarnate if we choose to on other planets because a lot of people probably aren't native to this planet <clears throat> so yeah but anyway i do believe in the theory of reincarnation where we experience different lifetimes in order to learn lessons in order to evolve and uh, become more of a, uh, a spiritually based being and not uh, more of a, uh, a lower chakra being, you know, where all of our chakras are balanced and we communicate with people in a loving and caring and peaceful way. Um, I think that the coming back over and over again, reincarnation, is a part of that, fine tuning and learning these lessons so that you can become more of a highly evolved being. Um, and that's, uh, that's something that's hard for a lot of people to believe even still to this day. It's kind of funny because it's like, it's the year 2017 and these concepts and ideas have been around for ages. It's not like they're anything new. I mean, there's this era period called the new age, you know, I think it really sprung up like in the nineties, early nineties where a lot of people were coming out as being trans channelers and psychics and were um, taking spiritual journeys and joining um, other groups of people to uh, learn more about their psychic gifts. And I think that that's cool that people do that, but then it got to the point where some people were corrupt about it, which I won't get into <laughs> right now, and I'm sure a lot of people know about this kind of stuff. But yeah, reincarnation, I definitely believe in that concept of um, experiencing life as a different person. I think you may be a different person on the outside as far as reincarnation, but when you come back, you have the same soul. So, um, and I think the souls can evolve. 
like the souls can uh, learn one big lesson in one lifetime and catapult them off into wherever it is they're going next. So, And the whole thought of uh, you did some really bad things in last lifetime and uh, this is your chance, your soul's chance to redeem itself by uh, coming into another lifetime, living a different life Maybe you were rich in another lifetime, and then this lifetime you're poor, and so you're really experiencing the poverty and the desperation to make up for maybe a past lifetime where you're very narcissistic and um, just so selfish. So. And there's people that believe that we picked these lives before we got here. Like we charted it out, planned it out, like a basic outline, um, and then we get here, <laughs> and then we got to figure out what that outline was all over again, because <laughs> we end up forgetting along the way with all the distractions in this world around us. How could we not forget what our plan is? All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. If you guys want, guys want to. Hear my take more on reincarnation. Leave it in the comment section below. Um, share your opinions on reincarnation. Um, and yeah, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for the likes and shares. And yeah, thank you for the kind comments. I appreciate them. That's the only way we're going to learn more about this beautiful plant is by sharing our opinions and our viewpoints. And cannabis has made me even more of a spiritual person and really more, even more open to this idea of reincarnation. I was open to reincarnation before I started partaking in cannabis, and now even more so it makes complete sense to me. So everybody, take care of yourself, love yourself, and I will see you soon. Peace.